Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist for beginners. In the last episode, we introduced the topic called route guards. We saw the use cases that are required for route guards. How do we secure our uh, application and the screens and the uh, basically any route that is used to access our application has to be put behind a certain condition right or make it secure that's what uh, route guards we introduced it in the last episode today we'll go one step further learn about one of the interfaces that is provided called can activate we'll learn all about it and after three episodes we are also starting forms angular forms and that's one of the most heart of the any application that we build I will cover in detail with a lot of uh, simple and as well as real-time complex use cases for reactive forms, template forms, so that you will really master it. So stay tuned for that. I will try and post more than one tutorial every day so that you can catch up with that as well. That being said, let's get started. This is part 49 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. Uh, I have like I've planned around 100 tutorials for you. I have also started a mean stack uh, tutorial parallelly which will be kind of a fork out of the learnings that we do in this particular uh, series. So make sure you check out the mean stack uh, live project development as well. The playlist link, uh, the notes are getting uh, updated to the GitHub link that is also in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. As always, I welcome your queries and doubts in the comment section. Please do reach out to me. I will try and help you as much as I can. I know a lot of you are reaching out on some topics that you need more help. I promise I'll create those tutorials, but just in a bit, okay, in just in time. Uh, give me some time, I'll create those tutorials as well for you. Following are the topics that I've already covered in this series. Um, it's all available in the playlist link around 48. We have already covered. This is the 49th episode where we are learning about route guards can activate interface. All right, so quick word for our uh, viewers who are joining us new. Uh, so what is a route guard? A route guard is more like a security uh, check, right? Or something like a conditional check where you say that can a user access a particular route, right? The, uh, the result of the route guard is a true or a false, right? It's a Boolean value. Can user access this route, true or false? If it's true, the user can access that route and internally that will point to some child component or a component but the idea is can a user access a route if he can access the route it's true if he's if for some condition if it fails like for example user is not authenticated or say user is not an admin then you'll return false if it is false the user will not be able to access that particular route that's the whole concept of route guards now, like I told you in the last um, episode, how do you generate a guard? We'll use ng generate guard and give the guard name, right? When we do that, it would give us a prompt which says, which type of interface do you want to implement, right? So there are four types of interfaces that we can use. Can activate, can activate child, can load, and can deactivate, right? So I will cover each one of that in detail. So today we are focusing on can activate interface. So what is a can activate interface? So it's a guard which is useful when you want to check something before a component gets used, right? For example, like I said, it's the most basic one. Can you, the user access this route or not? That's a simple can activate, right? Um, that being said, let me show you some hands-on examples and use cases what uh, can be done around it. So open up our application. We are still working on simple CRM application that we are working throughout the series. Go to app. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a guard and we'll call it um, edit guard, right? So maybe we want to see that if the user can edit this, it's more of an admin, right? Uh, is an admin, like right? check admin, right? So what this does is it will check if the user is an admin or not. So once you hit enter, it will prompt you for this selection of the four interfaces that you want to implement. By default, if you see the can activate is um, kind of selected here. If you want to move, you do use the up arrow or the down arrow, it will move. If you want to make a selection, you hit this star, okay? You can do multiple selections, but for now, I'm since the focus of this particular tutorial 
is can activate so i'm selecting can activate and hit enter so now it says uh, it has created this file which is app admin guard.ts so if you see here you should have that file and open that and you would see this right so you have the admin guard here uh, let's check here it is admin guard this is the basic uh, template that gets generated when we uh, generated using the ng generate option so now there are a couple of things that needs to be uh, understood here one that it's an injectable just like service right now this is provided in the root that means it's available throughout your application right and since we said we are doing a implementing this interface can activate we are implementing it here and extending it right so if you see the output of this method or this method is a true by default and you don't need all this if you want if you're really not bothering about it but i will cover that little later understand how it works first so it can return a boolean it can return a url tree observable right so see so this is what it looks like so when this guard is activated it would based on some condition will decide whether to return true or false so let's say I'm going to say is admin here equal to false let's say some variable usually what happens is you would see this that we will do something like this dot admin service dot get user details right dot map and you basically return this admin from the backend right so that's what we do usually in a real time scenario from the service you will get that value for now what i'm doing is i've just put it as a variable right is admin and i will check if is admin is true return true else return false right simple so see can act now what this method says is it will be like a check when the user is trying to access a particular route it would come to this method and it will check that can i access this yes or no right now go to your app routing right go to your app routing and here we will add that check right so here we can add that guard right so in your um, if you see any of the um, what do you call it the guards that are implemented they are implemented right with your um, right with your um, routing module right so what does it mean is that essentially when you have a check to be done it has to be done right in the routing file itself right so that's why uh, make sure that you write anything in the routing file okay I hope I made it clear. Uh, if not, uh, ask me your comments in the doubt. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Okay, so now that we created the admin route, we have just have to update our routing file. Let's do that quickly. So I'm saying, let's say uh, when the user is trying to access client's route, right? So it can be anything, right? Uh, it can be any route that you want to extend or any child routes um, that you want to access. For now, we are keeping it very, very simple. And what we are saying is, in this clients right so can activate so see just when you type can right you will see the options right can activate can activate child deactivate load so select we are learning about can activate so here we will say what is the type of the guard that we are using so i will say admin card right so now what we are saying it has to be in the okay the reason is it's an array so i can pass more than one say if you want auth guard you can pass like this as well right so if you have multiple guards that you want it to check it will check sequentially and give you an output whether true or false right all this have to resolve to true if you have more than one right so here i'm giving admin guard so what i'm saying whenever the user is trying to access clients he has to first pass this check that is in the active can activate admin guard okay let me start the server in the meanwhile let me also quickly put some notes for you episode 49 route guards and today we are learning about 
activate right so number one simple generate using ng generate guard guard underscore name right second thing um, choose the option can activate right so what this does it in the routing file routing module we will will use option can activate right so what this does is it will resolve to true or false right true means user can access the route right false means user cannot access the route that's what it means right we can use any number of route guards on can activate right so i showed you an example here if you see we can pass more than one checks right so if you want you can say like this we can pass more than one checks so this is one of the important questions that is often asked in interviews can we pass more than one guards right so yes obviously we can pass it's an array it's an array and all have to resolve to true right okay so that being said um okay so that said i think we are all set so we got our application up and running so now let's quickly check it out uh, so we have it here now i'm going to say slash clients and it is failing right let's see why because in our admin route card we called it false right so user cannot access it now let's make it true right so now admin is true now let's go here and say slash clients right uh, okay it's slash clients so now we are able to see the clients because i am an admin let's make it false now see now we can't see it it redirected us to the root right so that is how can activate works so can activate says can a user access it or not the answer is right here it says no you cannot access or you can access right so that is um, what uh, we just worked where is 49 yeah here right so can activate it tells whether you can access a route or not right based on certain conditions obviously right uh, that's pretty much all about uh, can activate uh, let me show you one more example before i leave for you which is passing multiple things so what i'm going to do now is in the in the auth guard I'm going to make it false. See, the token, right? I'm making it false here in auth guard, right? So now, essentially, what is this is returning false? This is returning false, right? Let me show you that one more time. Admin in admin guard, it's false. In auth guard, it is false here, right? So both are false. Let's see that, right? So it's not working. Now, what I'm going to do? Look carefully here. In the admin guard, I'm making it true. Right? In the admin guard, I'm making it true. Let's see. It will still not work because in my routing, I said both guards should return to true. Right? Now let's go ahead and in the auth guard, let's make it true. Right? And here also, I'm making it true. So now both are returning true value. So now let's see what happens. So now I can access the route, right? So this is how usually uh, things happen, right? So now if I have to talk to you a little bit about the kind of use cases that happen, right? Um, that happens are number one, you check if user is logged in, right? That's one number one check. Then the other check is check if user can edit the uh, product or the order or the details or the profile or the uh, manage screen etc also it can check if the user is an admin right so these are some of the most commonly uh, implemented use cases in any or most enterprise applications right so make sure that you get this right uh, i think i hope that after this you are doubts about can activate are resolved if there are still any doubts let me know in the comment section i'll be more than happy to answer them 
in the next episode i will cover about can activate child right very similar to can activate concept but applies to the chill child routes i'll show you in the next episode i hope uh, you are enjoying this series i will try and speed up um, i know these tutorials should be coming daily or maybe one or two in a day i will try that but uh, please do like share comment subscribe to my channel um, if you like my work and tutorials please do consider giving me a tip at um, buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode